So we're going to start by finding our driver policies. We're going to go to Devices. And since we're using the new Devices view, we're going to select the Windows 10 and Later Updates node, which will give us all of our different update types, including the new driver updates. So when we select that, we get to see the list of driver policies that we have. And one of the nice things that we've added here is the drivers to review column, which shows administrators when there's new drivers in a manual policy that they need to review and decide whether or not they want to deploy or not. So it's kind of a really nice, great call to action. And one of the neat things that we've got here is that we've got a ability to set up a manual or an automatically approved uh, policy mode. And so what this does, if it's manually approved, then drivers are not deployed until an admin approves them. In a automatically approved policy, the recommended drivers, which we'll talk about in a moment, are automatically approved, but they are approved to start the number of days that you specify here later. So that actually gives you a little bit of window of opportunity to review those drivers and even stop them before they go out. For example, maybe you don't want to send out network drivers until they've gone through further testing. So with that in mind, we're going to go take a look at a policy that we have that is part of the private preview with MS Digital. And so you see we have two tabs here. We have the recommended drivers and other drivers. The recommended drivers are those drivers that would normally be deployed to a device when it scans for updates when it's not being managed. And these are drivers that the OEM or the manufacturer has marked as recommended uh, to be installed. And so you have that ability to do that. You can see, for example, that we have drivers in various states, needs review and approved. I'll cover those briefly in a moment. But we'll also take a look at the other drivers. Other drivers are drivers that are marked as optional, that are only installed if the user specifically selects them, or the administrator in this case, or drivers that are older than the recommended drivers, but are still applicable to one or more devices in the policy. And so that gives an administrator the ability to find out, hey, there's a problem with the latest driver, but the previous driver is still the last known good, and I still want to deploy that, and they can do that. And so as you can see, we're giving administrators full control over each individual driver uh, that's applicable and which ones go to devices and which ones don't. And when you uh, manage your drivers, we'll go in here and take a look. So when I select that driver, I can decline that driver or I can approve that driver. When I approve that driver, I can specify the date that it starts. For example, we'll start it on the weekend, so that hopefully most of those updates happen over the weekend and the device is ready to go on Monday uh, when people come back to work. Other states include pausing that driver as well as um, declining that driver. And a pause driver can be reapproved later and be paused again, and you go back and forth as many times as you want. And of course, no great policy we complete without excellent reporting. So we're going to switch over to an example of a report. This report is very similar to what we've already shipped for feature and expedited updates uh, and gives you an overall summary of results as well as per device status for each device that that driver is applicable to and where they are in that process. For example, this device is offer ready, meaning the next time that device scanned for updates that the appliance's 1.0.01 driver will be deployed to that device. We can also see if the device is currently downloading, installing, waiting to reboot, or if it's successfully installed. Or if there is an install error, that error will show up here in the alert type, and then you can go and investigate and get further details. So thank you for listening. As I mentioned, we're shipping this soon, and we can't wait to get this out. As I mentioned, we are shipping this soon and we just can't wait to get this out. So thank you for watching our demo today and have a great day.